I'm back and more high energy than ever. If I use this voice for everything, it'll seem more exciting. Finally, I'm a real YouTuber. Okay, that's tiring. No more. Some announcers get their voice stuck like that and they can never be normal again. I couldn't live without sarcastic comments. My base is almost completely maxed for Town Hall Level 5. So it's time to upgrade it. Now I have to wait 24 hours before I can do anything. Okay, bye. Oh damn, I don't have enough gold. Let's battle for it. It's been a while since I've raided an innocent village for their money in a video game at least. I've kept using balloons for quite a while now. They're really good. It's like an evil version of Christmas. Instead of Santa Claus flying overhead and dropping presents and jingle music, it's balloons flying overhead and dropping bombs and jingle music. Come on, they have good taste at least. But what I like most about Balloon is that it rhymes with my favorite YouTuber's name. And after that, I have one million coins and one million elixir. Ah, I've always wanted to be a millionaire. And I bet you have too. So check my TikTok for financial advice, not financial advice, and buy my crypto coin called Dracoin. And now I can finally upgrade my town hall. Really, I'm just doing it for the 25 more walls. I'm going to block off so much open space for those cows. While I waited for the town hall to upgrade, I did a bunch of nighttime base battles. And on the one hand, I absolutely lost all of them. But on the other hand, it's not my fault. Balloons aren't allowed at night time. But never mind that, because we have done it. The town hall has been upgraded. That's level 6. I did stop playing for a while before this. Sorry, I was busy on my second channel called Dragoon. Don't worry though, this one is my priority. I mean, if Dragoon was so good, why would there be a Dratoon? Now with town hall 6, there are so many options. New units and buildings, but most importantly, competition. The clan games. Where the clans can compete to complete challenges and get rewards. It's like the Olympics for Clash of Clans. The Cock Olympics. Again, I see nothing wrong with my naming scheme. Let's see what challenges I have to complete. Wait, did my clan already win for me? We have 54,000 out of 50,000 clan points. I didn't even do anything. When I went to war last time, I was the only one in the whole clan that went to war. But now the games come along and everyone participates. Should I be angry or happy? I don't know. Oh well, I still want to do one. My task is to destroy eight cannons in battles. These cannons are about to become can-offs. Cannon, more like cannot. Boom, three cannons dead. I also found out that there was a clan war while I was gone and my clan won 92 to six. Should I just stop making Dragoon videos so I never miss a Clash of Clans thing? I also get a bunch of new buildings for this town hall. Collectors, towers, mines, and walls. Now usually I would block off an open area to murder all cows, but I have a special new idea for these. It's like, it's like my profile picture. Get it? It's so passive aggressive that it will cause anyone to attack me instantly without thinking. I've run out of cannon puns, but I destroyed three more with this base. See, it's actually a good thing that I'm destroying them though. They aren't a very good defense tower at all. Cannons were originally invented to be used as musical instruments. One of the rewards for winning the clan games is a potion that makes wizards researching 24 times faster. At first I thought this was maybe Adderall or some drug to make them work faster, but that's way too much. 24 times? What's the only thing that can give that much efficiency? Google. The reward is working internet. There is also a potion that makes builders work 10 times faster, which is the equivalent of watching a Bunnings YouTube video. Which I admit does actually help, but I'm still getting more subscribers than them. I can now start upgrading my walls from gold to crystal, finally moving away from rocks entirely. Gold is good, but it's still from the ground near those rocks, but crystals, uh... Where do they come from? I think astrologists invented them. After taking two more cannons from this easy base, I returned home for my heroic greeting of a man who completed a clan game task. I got 350 points, which helps no one because we already got 50,000, but it makes me feel good. My spell factory is going to take 24 more hours to upgrade, so bye. Okay, I suppose I can play some nighttime battles. That's why the nighttime base was invented after all, for bored YouTubers to never stop giving content. Imagine if you ran out of YouTube videos to watch and you had to be alone with your thoughts. Can't even think about that. Literally, you can't. You have no thoughts anymore. But that's okay. Look at this cool building montage. I just realized that when I'm voice acting, I move my hands even though you can't see them. I did like a double peace sign when saying building montage. I decided to go with a more simple base this time. Previously, I've consulted 5D chess with multiverse time travel to make my bases, but this time, I'm just going to install a nuclear bomb on the roof. If they attack, we all die. I'm taking notes from our real world superpower countries. Are you proud of me now, Uncle Sam? I want a couple more nighttime battles, but here's an interesting one. I got exactly 50% damage on their base, and it's their turn to attack me. See, they're at 75% damage, so they win, right? 
Nope, victory is mine. But why? Well, let's just say hypothetically. If the CEO of Supercell lived next door to me and I hypothetically stole his bonsai tree and hypothetically sent him a letter written in blood, then hypothetically he might let me win in battles? Hypothetically? Oh, people are actually talking in the clan chat and they completely ignored what I said. Maybe I'm intentionally being left out. Well, that's fine. I don't need any friends with this new tower. The clock tower. Speeds up time by 10 times. I can just sit and wait for new friends to be born. With super speed, my troops got 70% damage on this base, but I don't know if that'll be enough. How much did the enemy do? Oh, they did 0% damage in 0 seconds. Gotta be impressed at how fast they were. Oh damn, my builder is working fast. He isn't stopping. He's just completely focused on his work. He isn't letting any women distract him. Non-stop efficient grinding. Could it be? Is he a Sigma male? I need troops for a big battle. Maybe my clan can help me out. Please give me whatever your heart desires. I wonder what kinds of units they'll give me. None. Okay, that seems right. One of my clan mates did respond though, said that he has an Among Us base, and I don't really see it, but maybe that's the point. It's a mystery and impostering somewhere. I don't know, I haven't played it. But what's important is in the Clash of Clans chat, the term Among Us is banned. If you type Among Us, it comes up as asterisks. It's treated as a curse word. How do I turn swear words on anyway? Parents guide maybe? Nope, it opened the internet. Okay, I'm on an emulator that isn't gonna work. Ah, uh, get me out before they find out. Maybe in more settings? Wait. <laughs> Filter clan chat is already off. If the filter is off and it still says Among Us is swearing, then what does the filter on stop? Any letter that could stand for a bad word? I mean, the letter T, it could stand for tired. The worst word. Get rid of it! I only have 13 minutes left until the new war starts. I need to create an all new war base. This time, I'm breaking out my ultimate Japanese architecture school techniques. It's like... It's like my profile picture, get it? I am number 40 in my clan war, the worst ranked apparently, but let's just check someone else. Let's say, uh, number one, the top in the Dragoon clan. Here we go, this is an example of a bad base. There's no theme at all, nothing to represent who you are. They've got fire near the flowers, that's a major fire hazard. They've got a water fountain, so much electricity wasted. And they're part of the Dragoon clan. I hear they're really bad. The war is about to start. 10, nine, okay, I don't have the patience for this, let's skip it, two, one battle day! Let's fight! Unleash the Dragoon Balloon Battalion! We drop bombs on your enemies for a low price! Has your child been naughty? Then don't threaten them with bombs, what's wrong with you? Get help! See, this guy lost because he has rock walls, and iron walls, and gold walls. You have to be faithful to one of them, you don't get to pick and choose. Rock hating is a lifestyle. And everyone has balloons as defense! I said in my last video the balloons can't fight other balloons, which is proof that everyone should watch my videos. They all contain very important life lessons. Like, did you know that every millionaire's daily routine includes drinking water, waking up, and smashing the like button. And I win. I have taken six stars for my clan in this war, but will anyone else actually help me? If they hypothetically don't, I will hypothetically kick everyone out of the clan. Six episodes, I think. I'll probably make more if someone deletes the Dragoon channel, so could someone impersonate me and then get me cancelled so I can't upload anymore? Dratoon would really appreciate it. Thanks.